la 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 <laughs> good morning and happy wednesday hashtag my global family this is dre of beta coyote walking in this world and real life a sleto pobo superhero proud to spirit indigenous warrior family and mail dre is coming out later today family i feel bad i feel like i've been stuffing him down I'll be honest, male Dre is my warrior self. Honestly, it's um, a different part of myself, a different me, different person, different personality, different everything. And from my perspective, I feel like I haven't been worthy, family. I've been hiding. My anxiety and PTSD have been ruling my life for about a month now, honestly. Um, the holidays kind of hit me. I got sick. It was cold. Um, you know, <laughs> you're, in, you're trying to stay safe with social distancing. So we're kind of quarantining again. I don't know, family. We go out a lot less. <clears throat> so I'm just saying that's been affecting my mood. And I'm also a survivor of trauma three times over family, rape and molestation as a ramification of Indian boarding schools, police brutality in 2008 when I was arrested for asking a police officer for his name and badge number and was stuck in my house for nine months i lost nine months of my life i couldn't go to restaurants i had to build up to be able to walk out the door family so when my anxiety is particularly bad and i am stuck in my house like yesterday i was not gonna leave i tried i wanted to leave but i could not and that's okay family it's okay because my safe zone was in my house <laughs> And sometimes we need comfort. Sometimes we need care. And sometimes we need to be kind to ourselves. So join this coyote. I am learning family. I am learning who I am. I am learning how I operate. I am learning how to comfort and care for myself. I am 40 years old family. And I am always learning and changing. And that is the best part about being a human being. We're always growing and changing and learning. I'm just saying family. Life is always full of change, right? Nothing ever, ever stands still. I had a little panic early and was like, no. I have a meeting, a council meeting on Thursday, uh, Friday and Saturday family. And I have to prepare for it and I'm not ready. So I was like, no, I have more work to do. Don't let Friday come. <laughs> I can't stop time. I wish I could, but I can't. I was also thinking earlier family, if I had the superpower of going back in time, what would I change, right? If I had the power to go back to when COVID started, what would I do differently? And then I decided, family, I don't know if I could do anything differently. I don't know if I would wish to. It was a life experience. We can't pick them. We can't stop them. They happened to us. But what we can do is we can heal from them and we can reflect on them. So this coyote has been reflecting on my COVID experience and trying to figure out how to go forward, right? Mourn our losses, celebrate our victories, make sure that the loved ones around us know that we care. Because every day family is precious. Every day is a gift. And every day we get to share it with each other. So I'm just saying family, that's pretty powerful. And I'm grateful and thankful to still be here, to keep adventuring, to keep loving you, and to keep trying to push for that change that we need in this world. I'm just saying, family, this coyote is gonna be president of the United States or emperor, empress of the Americas, depending on which dystopian future we're in. But together, family, we're gonna make it. We're gonna survive and we are gonna thrive and we're gonna make sure that our families have security and safety. Oh yeah. <laughs> And it starts right here, family, with working on our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. So join me here every day, family, every day, as I share my life with you. <laughs> I share my life with you. I'm a goofball family. But you know what? It's fun. I like having fun in life. I like being kooky and crazy and weird. <sighs> it's just great. All right, family, that's enough of this coyote. Let's go ahead and get started. Get started with our yoga. Yeah, yeah.
Everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we have an awesome chair yoga sequence for you. So you're going to need a chair and preferably one with no arms. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. Sorry, family allergies. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. All right, my friends. Thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You want to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative to bring uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen Mommy, through your crown. Imagine a little today. marionette string just pulling out from the crown. And let your hands just rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. And inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, this center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body. We're just going to take some time to breathe, to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's soft and gentle, but also really supportive and beneficial. So when you're ready, we'll start with the soles of the feet, lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down and lower the toes, lift the toes and lower the toes, lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes, spread the toes and release. Great, lift the heels one at a time. And then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels, keep lifting, 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 lift your heart, open your mind to a new experience. And then lower the heels. Here we go, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. Awesome, inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless it goes there, then great, but just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the navel in and up a bit. And you're just going to spread the toes here, flex the foot, and then point the foot. Flex and point. It's all connected. One moving part. Flex and point. Flex and point. Two more times. Flex and point. Flex it up nice and tall and point. And now here we go. Rotating big circles here as you bring it down. One way and then the other. Cool. Other side. Extend the left leg out. So find your extension today. Engage muscles of the core to support the back. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. One more time. Flex and point. And then rotating circles as you bring it down. Rotate the ankle one way and then the other. And then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're going to grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone. We're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. And then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right 
shin and you're going to cross it over the top of the left thigh and flex your right foot here bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can and then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh and we create this figure four here and then sit up nice and tall now if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up okay but there's I'm okay really no here, need to push it I'm okay here. great don't do anything that right. hurts. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're going to slide your hands now to the backs, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg, and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Other side, interlace. Here we go, left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really gotta bring the breath, squeeze and lift. <coughs> Just working where you are today, <coughs> appreciating your body. In all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations, be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body. When you're ready, we're going to squeeze and lift one more breath. And then we'll flex the foot and cross it over, creating that figure four shape on the other side. Grab your foot. And then left hand is going to come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just want to honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, I'm you can one rest in the chair or use your breath. Inhale, breathe into your belly. And exhale, relax your shoulders oh. to slowly start to build more stability <coughs> right around this Sorry, spinal family. column. Smoking over here. So you can sit up tall rather, and have baby. a posture that isn't causing pain. A conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here. Something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips. Come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind. And when you're ready, extend your extension. Extend the left leg as long as you can. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are gonna come back to the tops of the thighs. Resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're going to bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just going to find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. Imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. Twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe send that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And release. One more time. And release. Awesome work. Drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body. So really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space.
And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Stay here, breathe deep. Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're gonna bring your right foot. We're going into warrior two, a supported warrior two. You bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're gonna use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up. Navel draws in and up to slowly walk. And you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back. So your hamstring is supported here. Virabhadrasana two with the chair. Whoa. And then just stay here, feel it out. Really drop your center, turn left toes in. And then you can stay here with hands on the chair. Breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back. So that squeeze move we did here, imagine that. And then hands can stay on the chair or maybe we send the fingertips out. Really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath. Then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about this, lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll walk the, so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot. And then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips. Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in, love your body. Love this life, explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here. Take energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding, soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And then exhaling, hands to heart. Awesome work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time, take your time. Wonderful. Then walk um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. And we'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands. And then keep this upward current of energy. Think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have a big, big ball here, and you're gonna go up and over into a forward fold. Nice and slow. When you're ready, it's fine just to round. You can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable. And you're gonna bring your head towards your knees. Now you might just get this far. You might stay up pretty tall. You might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair. You want to get to a place where you can take some solid, delicious, feel good, let go breaths. And 
And as you inhale in here, my friends, feel the skin of the back body stretch. Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath. Let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs. Then plant the feet firmly. Really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. And then as you roll it up, feel that flush of energy, the blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding. In case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. Wonderful, open your eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile, maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me and the rest of the community, everyone practicing with you through this video. Let us know how it went down below. Questions, comments, always welcome. Subscribe to the Yoga with Adrian channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and your family and take good care. I'll see you next time. Namaste. <coughs> Woo, excuse me, family. How are you doing? How's it going? I feel more centered. I feel um, like I'm ready for the day. I feel like I'm ready for the day. <laughs> Just kidding, not ready. I have to do my cardio still. Um, and then I'll be ready for my day after my cardio. And I have to get ready. I have to shower. I have to get ready for church. I have to drive my mom. <sighs> yes, today. Today is going to be a brand new day, family. It is Wednesday. We made it through Monday. We made it through Tuesday. And now we're going to have a wonderful adventure on Wednesday. Yes, today is going to be an adventure, family. And don't forget, this is your daily reminder. We're all going through a lot, family. We can't even imagine um, sometimes what our neighbors, our friends, our loved ones, are feeling, um, how their lives are being affected right now. What we do know is how our own lives have been affected. And so I wanna use that as a superpower of empathy family. So I don't know about you, but I've been having a really hard time and I have the love and support of my family. Thank you so much to everyone. I love you guys. Um, but there are a lot of people in the world who don't have support and don't have love and don't have resources. Um, so please act with kindness, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, um, and be guided by love. That's this coyote's motto, family. I'm always and forever guided by love. That's how we do it. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. Don't forget, family. In addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, a critical race whiteness intersectional scholar, an activist, and the leader of the world's largest graduate student organization, the American Education Research Association Graduate Student Council, leader of 7,000 amazing peers from around the world. We're taking over family. I am also Coyote former pastor of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services will be later today, family. But every day, we end our yoga session with a prayer. If you are not a praying person, do not worry. Set an intention for your day. 
But when we pray, we're actually just talking to our ancestors. We're saying hello and we're asking for their guidance and for their blessings. So join me, family. Join me in saying hello. Gammy, it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I love you, Gammy, and I miss you. And today we have a very special prayer. Our prayer today is for the wisdom of asking for help. Yeah, me, COVID is still affecting all of our lives and time never stops. In fact, it seems to get a little faster. And sometimes we are overwhelmed in our lives and we need a helping hand. So yeah, me, allow all of our peoples here today to have the wisdom to step back and ask for help when we need it. Thank you, Gammy. You are always there to spoil this coyote, to lift me up, and to assure me that all will be well in the world. May we have the wisdom to ask for that help to give ourselves a break and some relief so that we can keep fighting for all of our families. Thank you, Gammy, and may you rest in peace. Papa, I miss you and I love you. You were guided by love, Papa. He was the pillar of love in my family. And therefore, Papa, we're asking for your help. When we're asking for help, allow us to be filled with love. Allow the people we're asking for help to also respond with love. To ask for help is not to be selfish, is not to be um, seeing as less than, but rather it is a humanizing action and an act of wisdom. So Papa, allow our lives to be guided by love and allow for that help to come when we need it. May you rest in peace. And to my great great grandpa, Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a sled of public statesman, please knock some sense into our leaders, elected our politicians, our deans, our governors, those in charge of our institutions of power like CEOs as well. We need some humanizing change and we need actual help, real help, housing. We need money. We need um, relief for educational loans. We need health care for all. These are real solutions to the problems that are affecting all of our society now. We just need our leaders to make the change happen. So Papa and all of our ancestors, uncles, gammies, cousins, aunties, uncles, blood and those who have adopted us and treated us with dignity and respect. May you continue to love and support and guide all of your peoples here today as we are your modern day warriors thriving and seeking security and safety for all of our communities and families. We love you and may you rest in peace. It's Wednesday, family. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> I have high hopes. <laughs> Yesterday, I did what I could. That is this coyote's new motto. Every day, I'm just gonna try, family. I have my giant list of things that I should do, but I am one coyote superhero. But in reality, I'm also just a human being, family. So I had these unrealistic goals and I was like, I'm going to work out for two and a half, three hours a day, and I'm also going to vlog for two hours a day. This takes a lot of time, family, prep and then production and picking videos and getting ready for camera and setting up all the lighting. It takes like an hour, about two hours a day um, to do all my all my vlogging. So um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to work out for three hours. I'm going to vlog for two hours. And then I can still get eight hours of work. <laughs> so eight plus two plus three, that's 13 hours a day. And I was wearing myself ragged. And I also have a lot of events, family. So I had a panel on Friday all day of Zoom meetings, prepping for the panel. And then Monday, I had all day Zoom meetings, um, including running a council meeting then having another panel prepping for it and then having another panel. So I had two panels on either end of the weekend. Um, and it was a lot, it was so much a lot. And then yesterday I had tutoring and work meetings all day. Um, 
and just just life right <laughs> cleaning house doing laundry you know going grocery shopping i'm gonna spend some time with my niece today and my auntie today um and my bestie because i i smartened up family and i have a lot of anxiety so what i decided to do was ask my best friend for help i have two things i have to do today i have to write a memo and i have to do a survey and both of them give me anxiety and so i am gonna get on a work zoom call with my bestie and she's gonna do her work and i'm gonna do my work and we're gonna have support and we're gonna get our stuff done because i needed that i needed a safety blanket i needed someone there just to be there when I'm doing something scary, right? And when you have PTSD, um, you can be triggered. And because I've experienced trauma in certain places like work and school, um, because of bullying or because of sexual harassment suit or because of academic death or because of, you know, that I'm a warrior and I take on trauma cases every day, um, I have to do certain things to protect myself. And I have to ask for extra help. And that's okay, family. Don't forget, we are also protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act, family. So work accommodations, um, school accommodations are there to help us be successful. So if you need accommodations, please never hesitate to advocate for yourself. And if you've gone through some trauma, you can definitely reach out to this coyote. I'm on my ninth case with the OEO family. I am gonna have many more throughout my life. That is what I do. I defend and I protect our communities. And I also try to heal myself, um, but we also live with our trauma, right? We, and I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to live and love myself. Um, so this coyote is off to go do my cardio, go get ready for the day, do my memo, and go meet with my bestie for that work, work Zoom call. So I'll see you all later. Ah, I'm off to go to trouble somewhere else. I love you. And don't forget, if you need to talk to someone, please always reach out.